at one point we looked at the six most common types of outs or, or ways that a batter can be put out and, and I said in that video that there are a lot more than those six and so someday I would come back and make a video and fill in the rest so that's what we're gonna do this, this will be one in a, a continuing series and so what I want to look at here are four ways that are kind of we could say they're technical technical outs or, or they're kind of in the sense that they are uh, that the ball doesn't have to be in play uh, in order for the the batter we're just talking about the batter here to be called out for them and so the the first way that we can, can look at is if the batter hits a ball with one or both feet on the ground entirely outside the batter's box so he hits a ball with one both feet on the ground entirely outside the batter's box and so, so you, obviously the batter's box is this this area here that the, uh, the, the is painted in in chalk or on either side of, of home plate and and th this drawing is obviously not to scale where home plate is is much smaller than the, the the batter's boxes but basically this rule is saying that the batter must stay within you know his feet have to be inside the the, the box the whole time so if his feet are you know here and here that means he's he's good and 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 his foot can be on the line and a lot of times this is where you'll see you know, a major league batter stand they'll, they'll kind of kick the the dirt away and they'll st try to get as far back as they possibly can uh, in in the batter's box but if as soon as the batter steps you know for whatever reason if he's if he squares around to bunt you know and he steps out here or 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 up here if if he hits the ball when his feet are, are entirely outside the box, then the umpire can, can call him out. The second way that we can look at is if the batter's if the batter steps from one batter's box to the other while the pitcher is in position to pitch. So he, the, the batter steps from one batter's box to the other when the pitcher is in position to pitch. So uh, this this pro isn't really a something that would happen all that that common, and really none of these these rules that we're looking at here are all that uh, common of situations. But but this one obviously would be if if we have a batter, and this would be uh, a batter. Usually they they would pick you know they're either a, a right-handed batter and they would bat on this side or they're they're a left-handed batter and they would bat on this side but but on occasion there are some batters who who are called switch hitters and, and so so let's write that down just these are switch hitters and they can they can bat from either side of the plate. And so, this is just you know a, a skill that they have taught themselves, you know, to, to to be able to do that, and that might give them an advantage. You know, depending on whether they're facing a, a left-handed or right-handed pitcher, usually. So, so the the this rule is basically saying you know once the pitcher is is ready to pitch, you have to stay in in the batter's box, and that could. It could it could arise on when in the the very rare situation that you actually get a switch pitcher who who is able to throw the ball with with either hand and that's a, a very rare situation but, but that's another way that that could that could pop up but basically it's saying you know once the pitcher's ready the batter has to to stay in the box he's in. The next way is if the batter interferes with the catcher's fielding or throwing 
by stepping out of the batter's box or or making a, a, another movement that, that that hinders the catcher so this is he the batter interferes with the catcher's uh, fielding or throwing by stepping out of the box, the the, the, the batter's box, and or, or by uh, making another movement. So this will be on. I think we've discussed this before. If if there's a a, a batter attempting or, or a runner attempting to say steal a base, in the, the the batter for what if the the catcher stands up to to throw the ball to third base and the batter might take a step back out of the batter's box to, to get in his way then the umpire could call him out now something important to remember is that the the batter he is entitled to his space in the box so as long as he you know if he stands there and he doesn't move then then he's perfectly uh, within his rights to, to do that but he, he, but he basically this is saying that he can't you know step out of the box or or make a, a movement you know with, when he's in the box he can't you know hold his hands up or something like that to try to block the catcher so the final thing to look at is is probably something that you never you certainly never want to do if you're a batter and that is if he if you a batter uses a bat that has been altered or tampered with and and to cause a um, you know the the bat to to be better than it, 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 it you know to to be outside the rules and there are certain rules that we that there are that about what a bat can can be it can only be a certain size and so and it, it can't be, you know, filled with certain materials. So let's write this out first. He uses, uses or attempts to use. So I guess if they catch you, you know, before you actually uh, get to hit the ball, then they can call you out in advance. A bat that has been altered. Uh, or tampered with in a way to improve the, the distance of the ball, you know, to distance to that it, it will hit the ball. So this could be something like something that has happened in recent years is if if a player puts cork, they'll, they'll, they'll hollow out the inside of the bat and they'll put cork in instead of wood which would actually make it lighter and so and some people argue you know that's it's, it's so minuscule that it may not help but but basically the the rules say it you know the the bat has to be solid wood and and so so this is really the the, the worst way or you know of these four that you can do because not only can you be called out but, but in, in, especially if you do it in higher leagues, you can actually get suspended, and, and oftentimes you will, if you are caught using an illegal bat. So these are four you know, kind of technical ways that a batter can, can be caught out.